Hello and welcome to Ramsey County Care Center. Today we are going to do a training video for our visitors here. The Minnesota Department of Health released new guidance on March 17th, 2021, allowing visitors into skilled nursing facilities. Ramsey County Care Center has implemented that guidance by developing this training video and following the safety protocols the Minnesota Department of Health has laid out. We're going to take a few moments to cover some very important topics that you need to know in order to keep your loved one and all the residents here at Ramsey County Care Center safe. After arriving for your visit and being screened, you will be accompanied by staff to the designated visiting area. Be sure to have a staff member with you when traveling from place to place in the building. Any staff can escort you, but resident needs must always come first. Always stay with your loved one when you are visiting. If you are ready to leave, let staff know so they can escort you back to the exit. We know you are excited to see familiar faces and we're excited to see you back in our facility. Um, however, can you please refrain from stopping to visit anyone else who you are not scheduled to visit? To keep everyone safe, we do request that you follow some simple advice. Wear a mask over your nose and mouth. Stay six foot apart from those not in your own household and stay home if you are sick. Ramsey County Care Center is required to screen everyone coming into the building about symptoms. And then we take staff and visitors temperatures and ask about potential exposure events. Even if you have been vaccinated against COVID-19, if you have potentially been exposed, or have symptoms, you will need to delay your visit. This is because the people who live here are the most vulnerable to this virus and vaccinations are less effective in the elderly and medically frail. The WHO encourages everyone to know your risks in order to make safe choices. Consider the location of the space you are in. Outdoor areas are preferred over enclosed spaces, and Ramsey County Care Center does have visiting areas outside for your visit. Consider how close you are to other people. The farther away you can keep, the better. Then consider the time you are in contact. Shorter periods are safer than longer periods of time. All three of these risk factors contribute to either the spread or not spread of COVID-19. When you're at Ramsey County Care Center, you will need to wear a mask that fits over your mouth and nose. The masks we wear are medical grade and have a flexible metal band at the top that goes over the bridge of your nose. It can be formed to fit against your face. The lighter side of the mask is the side that goes against your skin. Before and after putting on a mask, you should always clean your hands. Hand sanitizer is provided for this purpose. COVID-19 virus travels through the air and short distances in invisible droplets released when talking, coughing, sneezing, or eating. Once the virus lands on or accidentally is placed into someone's nose, eyes, or mouth, then that's when illness can occur. This is why wearing a mask and a face shield is required for visiting in the building. The WHO created a very useful illustration on how to wear a mask. Start with clean hands. Find the top of the mask and place the colored side of the mask out. Place the metal band over your nose and form it down to fit your face. Cover your entire mouth and nose and avoid touching the mask after you've gotten got it on. Throw away your mask in a garbage can and wash your hands immediately after doing so. Don't leave your nose hanging out, wear it loosely, or touch the front of your mask, or remove it to talk to somebody. You will be supplied with a pocket sanitizer in what, during your visit. Please use it frequently. 
the best times to use it are after touching surfaces that have been frequently touched by others. These can include doorknobs, uh, handrails in the hallways, stairwells, and elevator buttons. You should also always wash your hands after adjusting your mask or face shield or touching your hair or uh, face, your clothing, your belongings. So in order to appropriately use hand sanitizer, you should apply about a nickel or palm sized amount into your the top of your hand. Rub palm to palm and then get the hand sanitizer on the back surfaces of your hands. Interlock your fingers and get in between your fingers. Make sure you get each finger completely covered in the hand sanitizer and rub until it's completely dry. This whole process should take anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds in order to get nice, clean hands. Six foot of distance is a safe distance to stay away from others because it allows the most common type of droplets that could contain COVID-19 to fall to the floor and never reach the other person. Just like the picture of the matches here, the match that stayed a little bit farther away saved the rest of them down the line. In the unlikely event of an emergency while during your visit, such as a fire or severe weather drill or severe weather, you know, watch your warning, please stay with your loved one and follow the directions of staff. If you or your loved one needs help, please alert staff during your visit. The Minnesota Department of Health has said that residents who are fully vaccinated can choose to initiate a hug or other physical contact with their visitors. They do advise that this be limited in duration and that both visitor and resident should use hand sanitizer before and immediately after hugging and both parties must be wearing a mask over both their nose and mouth. We've just covered the key elements for a safe visit here. Always have a staff member with you when you are moving through the building. Stay with your loved one through the entire visit. Wear your mask over your nose and mouth and keep your eye protection on. Sanitize your hands frequently in order to stay safe. I do want to take one more moment to talk about our face shields. Face shields are given immediately after screening. You'll put it on where so nothing can get to your mouth and nothing from your mouth can get out. It does should cover the sides of your eyes as well, protecting those. When you go to leave, you will take it off by the band that holds it on. And then this will be given back to the screeners to be cleaned and sanitized before the next use. Be sure to always clean your hands after handling your mask or face shields. Thank you and enjoy your visit.